Extreme Aviation is made up of multiple teams that work together to keep aircraft safe and ready for service. One of those teams is the engine crew, a group focused on testing and inspecting engines to make sure they're ready for operation. This airplane doesn't fly no more. It's been turned into a test bed, a test apparatus, actually. All we do is run these engines from engine shop companies, and we're gonna be running it today and making sure that it passes. That's basically what we do every day. We install an engine, we go run them, we make sure they have good numbers, and then if they're good, we preserve them and drop them. All right, so this is my crew, my engine crew. Uh, this is Angel. Uh, this is David. And this is Alex. Us three, me, Angel, and Alex, we've been here the longest. We've been here like eight years plus. So yeah, we're like the veterans of the, of the hangar. If you need any like hard job done, then you can count on us. To begin the day, the engine crew removes an engine that has already completed testing. In its place, a new engine is brought in, ready to go through the same rigorous inspection and evaluation process. Swapping engines is a routine part of the team's workflow, requiring coordination, precision, and a strong understanding of each aircraft's unique setup. How long is the typical process to bring down the engine and then to install a new one in preparation for the test run? Installing, running it, and then dropping it, like a good 12 hours. If everything is good, if the engine passes, it's like no problem. Yeah, like 12 hours. There's a bunch about the engine that that's a little bit tricky about it that not, that not everybody knows about. Everybody thinks it's easy. I mean, it is easy, but you gotta know like what you're doing. I think it seem easy, but it's not easy. With the engine installed, the team prepares to run an idle test, a standard procedure used to check the engine's basic functions at low power settings. So right now, this is a manual for the, for the engine tolerances. Trim table. Whenever you run an engine, you have to make sure that the engine are in these parameters. You gotta base it off of the temperature. So you gotta go through the manual. You gotta make sure how you're running the engine because every engine is gonna be run different. So you gotta make sure how they wanna run it and then based off of that, you go through the manual and make sure you check the right configuration. So we're waiting, we're waiting for the guys to give me the okay. We found the engine and then we got right on. But before that, I have to call Matt McDade and make sure that they give me authorization Hey, what's up, bro? It's Jose from Extreme Aviation. Hey, Jose. How are you, bro? Good morning. Bro, um, can I do an idle check real quick here at the at the hangar on the ramp? Cell number? Uh, November 359 Sierra Whiskey. Okay. The one you're getting out of time? Uh, yeah, I have my ring walkers please. on the side. Thanks, bro. Thank you. Got it, bro. Uh, Bye. Yes. All right. AP zone. Bleed. I just turned on the airplane to um, do a leak check of the engine that we just installed. After completing the idle test, the crew now moves on to the full engine run, the final step to ensure the engine meets all performance standards and is ready for service. The engine has passed all required checks, and the aircraft returns to the hangar. It's one more step forward, thanks to the precision and teamwork of the engine crew at Extreme Aviation. <laughs> 